Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A pleasure to be with you here in beautiful Venice. If you could begin with a brief introduction to this incredible series, I Know Your Soul, what can people expect when they watch it? Um, it's a show about a woman, single mother, who works as a prosecutor and her private life, her son, is involved in one case. She wants to be mother to protect him, but also there is professional part in her who needs proof, who needs, you know, facts, and this creates a lot of drama. Also for the boy who wants his mom just to trust him without asking any questions. So this is um, the relationship series, but also shows crime and society and the problems and layers of society that um, Bosnia lives in, hoping that it's also a problem um, that are universal for the whole world and all mothers and, and parents. And maybe you could tell us a bit about what sparked the idea. I believe you know, you're having this conversation with, with your own teenage daughter yep. and sort of realizing that moment when they're not a kid anymore and, and there's somehow maybe a, uh, a barrier between you or the communication isn't there as where it should be. Yeah, the, you know, the, there was a real case of suicide in Bosnia that um, created a huge polarization in a society. People were thinking very, you know, or, or, or taking their um, opinions very emotionally about what happened. Um, and that everybody knew about it and everybody was talking about it. So I was discussing with my daughter, who was at that time 14, 15, um, you know, that if she has any problems, you know, bullying or anything, that she should come to me and tell me what is what is the problem because kids can interpret some small things in such a bad way mm -hmm. that it could be solved very easily if they talk. This is what I want to be sure that she knows we can do it. We are very close and I was just mentioning it that she knows um, she should do it as well. But she surprised me completely when she said, no, I would never tell you because I have my dignity. I have to solve certain things by my own and that uh, totally shocked me because I was thinking how much we really know our kids. Mm. I was sure she would say, of course, mom, I will tell you everything. But she was making it clear, look, I am my own person or, or I am, you know, different from you. So this was something that I thought about a lot and um, that I, it, it inspired me to write this whole uh, series. And a phenomenal cast across the board. Um, but particularly right at the centre, Lazar as, as Dino and, and um, Jasna as Navina. I mean, she's just formidable, you know, really captures the strength of this woman. Um, but then, you know, as her life, her personal life, and, you know, seems to be crumbling from the pressure from her job. Um, and she captures it all so well. So how did you decide on your cast? And I know you've worked with her before. Why, what do you think really makes her stand out as an actress? I mean, she is incredible because she has this very gentle uh, face, but she is so powerful. And these two things that sometimes seems opposite are actually united in her. And, and this is what I love about her. Um, so I needed this motherly side of her and I needed this, um, you know, professional, uh, very um, re rational uh, side of her. And this is what she does fantastically. Even in one shot, she is able to go from one to the other uh, edge. And our biggest question was how to find a teenager son. So we were going around, uh, you know, casting a lot of non-actors to see, you know, auditioning a lot of non-actors to see if we can find them. I, in my first film, I was very lucky to have fantastic 13-year-old. So I was hoping that I would do it again. And uh, unfortunately, we were, you know, just unhappy with what we found. And then uh, we remembered Lazar from uh, one uh, film that we watched. And we thought, okay, he is older, but we could make him younger. And he has this 
childish attitude. So we did some rehearsals and when we thought, okay, this is functioning, two of them are functioning, for us this was, um, um, you know, like a little miracle because without two of them uh, being, having chemistry, having uh, this incredible relationship, the whole thing wouldn't work. So this was, it took us a lot of time, but uh, yeah, we were very happy to find him. And in the making of the series, what might have been some of the most challenging moments or challenging scenes to pull off? And on the flip side, what was a real highlight for you? I, look, I mean, for me, the whole TV series was a different experience because I um, did films and film, you know, we always work under pressure, especially in Bosnia with such a small budget. But TV series is like uh, doing three fiction film in a time and money of one or even less. And this was shock for all of us. You know, we all were kind of intellectually prepared for it, but it, we didn't. <laughs> We were not. So this was really tough to go um, and ask for each detail of the uh, acting, of you know, set, of everything like you are in a film, but uh, not having time to do anything. It was really, really challenging. This was this was madness. But very quickly, Jasna found the key for, for Nevena, so then it was very easy to, to go. Also, uh, Dino, he found the, the, the main heart of... Um, Lazar also found the main heart for Dino, and then it's easy when you have fantastic actors. But, I mean, I, I don't want to go into um, our budget issues because they were, they were really, really funny. You know, sometimes we couldn't get um, close. For, as, as Dino is getting more and more popular, he mm -hmm. is... Uh, he He's being more and more star, so he's dressing up like star, but we didn't have budget for expensive clothes. So our costume designer would go into fashion shops, take the clothes, you know, um, we do a scene, and then they, she would return it as uh, it doesn't fit. So he was not allowed to take the price tag. He was acting all the time with price tag behind his... Uh, yeah, but that's, uh, you know, you. If you want to do something, you have to be creative. <laughs> Indeed. Um, and in terms of the takeaways from the show, I mean, you know, obviously you, there's a bit of a, a roller coaster ride of emotions, the, the tension of not knowing what's going to happen, almost like a thriller. Um, as you said at the beginning, you know, you're picking up on societal issues, you know, of kind of um, the legal system um, and also, you know, um, uh, and, but then also, it's hard, It's about family and, and this relationship between a mother and son and the need for communication. Yeah. And so what do you think people take away? Yes. So, um, yeah, as you said, the heart of it is a, is a parent-child uh, relationship. And we are trying to explore it in other episodes. Uh, also in episode three and four, the case of, that Nevin is working on is connected with parents who believe they know their kids, but actually they don't. And also in the uh, fifth and sixth episodes, they are exploring a case of a murder where, again, parents think uh, they, sh they they, they know how their kids should act and they should uh, be responsible for their kids' um, solutions and for their kids' decisions. So each episode is about parenthood. And through each episode, Nevena is learning mm. about herself, learning through meeting other parents and other cases. Mm. It's it's the, um, you know, like a red line through the whole six um, episodes. Mm. And there's something also very exciting um, about having like the protagonist, you know, this wom woman of a certain age and just showing so much complexity. Um, and it feels like, you know, hopefully we're in a bit of a new era now where you can have these really exciting female characters, which you might not have had at the front and center of a show before. I mean, in our region, definitely, we never had a woman character who is, uh, you know, somebody who has really responsible job that she's taking very seriously and she's really good at it uh, with all mistakes one can make, but she is really good at it. And also, uh, she is mother. She's a woman who decided not to stay with her husband, but to start other relationships. So all, um, all 
stuff that uh, our society is condemning, we put in the show. Um, usually our shows uh, from the history of uh, Bosnian or Yugoslavian cinema and TV, uh, women are either mothers or they are working. And if they are working, they are not good mothers. And I wanted to go, you know, to, to destroy this kind of stuff with um, this character. I mean, probably nothing new for, um, you know, Western society, but for our society, it's quite new. And just finally, what does it mean to you to have the show here at Venice Film Festival and you know also demonstrating that now TV can sit alongside cinema the production values the, the cinematic nature of it yeah. um, it's really exciting time for TV yeah. too no we are beyond happy to be here it's really a beyond all our dreams um, we love the show so much and we show it to many people and they loved it and then we thought okay let's uh, do a try and let's send it to venice and see how they will react so when they told us they loved the show we were really jumping and and, and screaming from happiness because it is very small one, you know, with small budget for Bosnian streamers, so, you know, nobody expected it, but we really did it in a fil filmic way. We tried to do every scene, um, um, you know, it, it, looking for film language, looking for uh, deep emotions. We wrote a script and worked on a script, so many versions, they had a lot of rehearsals with actors, so we really put a lot of effort. and. I'm very, very happy that it's with films uh, in, the, in the same uh, programme. And if nothing else, hopefully people might come away from watching it and want to reach out and, and want to communicate. And in this day and age where social media seems to have taken over our lives, that's more important than ever. I, I really think so, that um, parenthood is not what it used to be 10 years ago. You know, I have a child who's now 22 mm. and she said, oh, I'm so happy I'm not growing up with this social media, these kids are growing up. And I'm like, you are 22, come on. I mean, you did grow up with social media. But no, in 10 years, it changed so drastically and we still don't know how to handle it. Mm. It's quite uh, different and quite tough. We have to learn from beginning. <laughs> Well, that's brilliant. Thank you so much for sharing all that with me. I'm really enjoying so the rest of my here in Venice. Thanks thank a lot. Thank you, thank you.